Hello, I'm uh, Richard Masterman. I'm Associate Pro Vice Chancellor for Research Strategy and Performance at the University of Nottingham in the UK. In the university, I think Scopus is used most often um, by individual academics looking um, at their own uh, research records, um, publication records. Uh, we, we've encouraged uh, to, uh, the, the um, Scopus to be uh, disseminated widely in the university and, and really we want to change the culture of, about how people uh, regard their publication so that they can see how it feeds into university rankings, subject rankings and things like that. Uh, so we encourage them to look at their own uh, publications, make sure they're accurately represented in Scopus. Uh, one of the key things I think we've been focusing on is attributions, um, the, the institutional attributions are correctly recorded um, against uh, individuals because that has an enormous effect in terms of how we appear in rankings and things like that. We've tried to relate that to the development of our research strategy. We spent the last um, year, 18 months, uh, re refreshing significantly our research strategy and we've identified uh, quality of one of, as one of the high-level goals that we want to do much better in the university. SciVal allows us to uh, look at uh, the quality aspects across the university, um, mainly by research areas, so with research topics, research areas. Um, in the UK we have the Research Excellence Framework and that's divided into units of assessment, so the ability to look across uh, unit or within individual units of assessment and benchmark that against other UK universities uh, is very important for us. Amongst the best is the ability to benchmark and, and to um, narrow the group that wants, wants to benchmark with. I think we find the feature that uh, we can group universities and you know because we have three campuses which are separate university entities uh, in SciVal, uh, being able to group those as one and just see how the global Nottingham University uh, performs is, is an attractive um, aspect of SciVal. Um, but I, you know, there are the, the reporting features um, that enable one um, to benchmark, I think, are the most useful and effective um, tools. One of the most significant projects where we've benefited from using SciVal uh, in, a very, in, a, in a very instrumental way um, is a, a funding competition for biomedical research centres in the UK. This was a large-scale um, funding scheme uh, that uh, was based on bringing um, different strands in the medical and biomedical area together um, to be competitive in the UK um, with the funding coming from the National Institute of Health Research. Initial filter for being able to apply to the competition was based on a bibliometric analysis that NIHR commissioned to be carried out. Uh, we were um, we wanted to do some additional work um, uh, to ensure that we got the right groupings together because this competition was very dependent on having the right groupings. So we used SciVal um, to uh, drill down really into some of the uh, information that was provided to us by the funder um, in order to get the optimum groupings um, that, that could be uh, that could be combined. The result of that work, um, obviously uh, um, with a lot of other input from, from different aspects, was that um, Nottingham came out of this competition very successfully um, and had one of the largest um, awards uh, from the NIHR um, in the country um, outside what's called the Golden Triangle, which is London, Oxford and Cambridge, effectively.
So we felt that the um, analysis that we were able to do through CIVAL contributed quite significantly to the success of that particular award, which was worth £23 million between the NHS and the University of Nottingham. Thank you.